we got our cast win and we're heading out for we got our cast win <laughs> we got our cast selection and we're heading out for our first cast we got a captain loaded up we're hunting captain tonight we got our dump dog to cuddle the kids we're using one backup handler today because it's an RQE event so we can't have any spectators but my oldest son is going to come with us as a backup handler try to get some video I don't know about video on these guys they look pretty rough I'm just kidding I don't want to think I'm weird or anything but yeah that's about it we'll see you when we get out there good idea put that out of the way right now just waste some time I need uh, I need three readies Ready. 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 Cut him. I saw him wait, come back a little bit of the tree. Come on, Cap! So unfortunately, uh, Cap was hunting off by himself. The other dogs were kind of sticking together and they were a bit closer to us, but they were going towards the road, so we had to pause the hunt for safety reasons and recall the dogs. One of the dogs was really close by and he was loaded up in the truck really quick. Two of the other dogs, though, were still headed towards that road. Um, so two guys went to go drive and cut them off. Cap was even further away, so me and the guide, we drove a different direction um, to get closer to a different road, a back road, to call him to um, because it was just a little bit closer than try to call him from 800 yards out. Let's go! Hello. Uh, we went down the street. Uh, still trying to recall him. He's um, uh, he's under 300 now. He's coming back. Kind of. Okay. Uh, are you with uh, Scott Gable? Uh, yeah, he's right here. Okay. We'll, we'll be back at the spot. I don't blame him. Crazy way. Right there, just a little bit. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So that first drop. Cap went out, hunted by himself, he was doing real good. He was about 800 yards out, which is pretty far. And the other dogs, I think, were in a different direction. And they were going towards houses and some roads, so we had to call timeout for safety and recall the dogs. But on the way back, Captain actually struck in, and uh, he would have been struck in, but we were on timeout. He located a coon, but didn't count. So we're on our way to the next drop. Hopefully this is it. We want Cap to hunt alone, get his own coon, see what happens. But the night is alive. It's getting late. We only hunted like 15 minutes probably. Most of it's been a timeout and driving. So. All right, we'll see you at the next drop. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Jacob? Yep. Caught him. It. Sounds like he's deeper, but he's not. Did y'all hear me fall together? No. I didn't hear you. Honestly, I only heard him. I know. I was I was further up there, facing away from you. What do you guys think? What'd you hear? It doesn't matter if he wants if he wants to split it, we'll split it. Was it at the same time? I, I just don't know. I didn't hear it. I don't really know. Okay. No. I'm I'm gonna take cap for 75, right? And uh, buck for 100, because that's just what I heard. Sorry. Alright, cool. Alright, so the second drop, uh, the dogs all struck in, except for one actually. No, that dog struck in, never treed. But Cap was second to the tree, along with this other dog that was first, obviously. And uh, it turns out to be um, a slick tree. It was pretty close to another one with a hole in it, but we voted and I think the judge broke the tie and said that the gap in the tree was too much something. Anyway, we're minus points. Yep, so we're going to the third drop and we're going to get more minus points or not. Hopefully not. All right, next time. Ready? Got him. Got an hour and 31 minutes, 24 seconds left.
pull through. Strike Daisy. <laughs> Strike Cat. Tree Daisy. Here, Daisy. Daisy here. Daisy here. Daisy here. There's a big hole over here. Is there? Yep. No. Is it a porky? Scratch my dog. We're all done. All right, so we got to the third cast and we'll cut the dogs probably like 50 yards off the road. We had a hunting judge and I think it was his dog. I'm pretty sure it was his dog. Treed real fast. It was like 50 feet off the road maybe. And I was thinking, no way, we can't be that lucky. We can't be that, that lucky. So his dog treed and then the guide's dog treed, our hunting guide. And his dog, the hunting guide's dog actually left the tree. I thought that was weird also. Then here comes Cap and the other dog. They hear the, this one dog treeing, so they come, they honor the tree, they tree also, so we have to call our dogs treed. And we walk in there, and it's a porcupine up in the tree. So during a regional qualifier like this, the championship rules, if your dog trees off game, it's over. Everybody scratches, everybody goes home, that was it. So that's the end of our regional qualifier. Tree off game. Man, this this hunt here it's I don't I've never seen a, a coon tree in New York yet. New York, where's your coons at? I don't think you've got any. Or maybe we just got trashy hounds. That's it. Alright, we'll be filming probably when we get back and then uh, when we get up tomorrow we'll have a good breakfast. Still a good time. Had a really fun trip. Had a really good time out hunting. I wish we would have saw coons, but we didn't, but next time. Alright. Back in the tent, getting ready for bed. Probably have a snack. Watch some Netflix, but this hunting night's not ending the way that we wanted it to. It's really disappointing, but still had a good time. Just want to emphasize that we had a great time, and even though it didn't end up the way we wanted it to, it's still a pretty good night. Camping with the family. Whew, boy, stink. Whose feet stinks? In the morning, we'll be cooking some good stuff. Good breakfast in the morning. We'll have a great time. Good morning from camp. Oh, it was a pretty cold night last night. Bella. Got pretty cold. We put the heat on in the tent last night. Oh, as most camping trips, hardly ever slept. There was a flock of geese that flew over, and I dreamed that it was Wawa Cups. And Bella kept barking and everything. Oh, but it's morning now. It's pretty nice letting Bella run around. I'm gonna let the dogs get some exercise. Then we're gonna tie them up and make some breakfast. We're gonna tie them up by the river today. Maybe they'll like that. Hopefully they're not loud. It's Sunday morning, we're packing up basically, eating some food and getting ready to go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. on the trot line while we make breakfast. Haha. -ha. Chill out doggies. On fresh eggs. Bacon. Oh yeah. Looks like a quarter stick of butter in there. It's all good. Put some butter in my coffee. Yeah, it's kind of fried eggs. I think all the eggs will fit in this pan. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Cooking for an army here.
cheese in there. Coffee's starting to get darker. Percolated coffee is the best. Changed my mind. You can't. Can you give me a plate? Okay, just... mm -hmm. you still World's best coffee. Before we gotta go. Ooh, I'm tired. Hold <laughs> me up, dogs. I might get on that old scent. This is where the field crowd was. Man, this is some nice property here. Any girl? Good girl. Come on. Danny boy's not. Doing virtual church on the way back home. Hallelujah. Life Point Church. Oh, let's pay attention. Church is over, so we're going to this weird uh, McDonald's rest stop. See how the food is in there. The hounds are sleeping. All right, it's raining. It's still a pretty good day, though. Turns out this uh, rest stop restaurant looks horrible. Looks disgusting, it looks like the bathroom. So I'm about to go search for some food, but it's all good. Yeah, we we'll probably have to get gas later. I don't know. Doesn't seem like these rest areas are that good in New York. Get in. Focus camera. Boom. Man, Mexican food is always good. All right, we made it back home. I think we left about, what was it, like 10 o'clock? Yeah. And yeah, it's almost 4.30. So that was a long drive, but we did stop for gas. We stopped at Chipotle, 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 Chip, Chip. Stopped for lunch. Oh, we stopped for virtual church today. It's Sunday and that was a good time. But that's it, that's our journey. You know, we took, we were able to take home one trophy this weekend, but that was not the most important thing. It's probably not the most, it's probably not on the top five list of most important things about this weekend. Hunting, even competition hunting is so much more than just hunting. It's about getting out, spending good time with the family, making good memories. You know, we're trying to develop children into becoming successful adults and there's a lot of lessons to be learned, but. 
hunting in general I think is so much more than just hunting it's about there's a story behind it and on this channel that's what we're trying to do we're trying to portray the story behind hunting and even homesteading and all that we do there's a lot more to it than that so for everybody that made it this far into the video I just want to say thank you thank you for subscribing thanks for smashing that like button thank you for being a part of that story and you know until next time be blessed peace